Mag-solve pa tayo ng dalawang sample problems tungkol sa paggamit ng kinematic equation. So, unahin natin yung isang ito. Ang isang kotse na nakahinto ay nagkaroon ng um, uniform acceleration sa loob ng 5.21 seconds at nakaabot ng 110 meters. Alamin mo daw ang acceleration ng kotse ito. O again, una, visualize, illustrate. So, this is A, this is B. So, again, sabi sa'yo, nakahinto siya nung simula. So, meron ka agad clue kung ano yung iyong V sub i. So, V sub i is 0. Ang kanyang time, nung nakarating siya sa B i, or ang time na lumipas, nung nakarating siya from A to B, ay 5.21 seconds. And then, ang distansya, from A to B ay, this is 110 meters. Ngayon, bilig niya ka ng displacement. Kanina yung displacement lagi yung pinapahanap, no? Pero this time, acceleration yung hanapin mo. Okay? So, the required is your A or your acceleration. Afterwards, you have to figure out which one of the kinematic equation you're going to use. So, sulat natin, rewrite. V sub i times t. Huwag kalimutan yung t doon ha. Parang width ang basa. 1 half a t squared. Huwag kalimutan ang squared. V f squared. May square na yung kinematic equation number 3 ha. Plus 2 a d. 2 add. And then d equals vi plus vf divided by 2 multiplied by time. Okay, so after rewriting the kinematic equation, cancel out or cancel natin or markahan natin yung mga variables na given sa atin. So given tayo ng time, given tayo ng vi, vi, Given tayo ng, for the first time, ng displacement. We are looking for acceleration. So, definitely, kita mo na dito, no? Hindi ka pwede gumamit ng KE4 kasi wala namang acceleration sa KE4. Hindi mo pwede gamitin yung KE3 although may acceleration siya kasi hindi mo alam yung VF. It's the same with KE1. So, definitely, you're going to go for KE2 again. Hmm. Okay. So, we'll write lang natin sa dali. Vit plus 1 half ATN square. D is 110 meters. VI is stationary ka na simula sa 0. Masaya kapag 0 ang ano mo, ang VI mo kasi 0 times T. 0 na agad. Plus 1 half a is your unknown second. Lagi mo ng parenthesis yun kasi yung A square mo siya mamaya. So, 110 meters, 0 plus 5.21 seconds times 5.21 seconds ay 27.14. So, again, 1 half times A times 27.14 seconds squared. Okay. Write lang natin. So, ito pwede mo na itong, ano, i-multiply, no? Times mo sa 1 half yung 27.14. 27.14 times 1 half or 0.5. 13.57. So, A times 13.57. 57 seconds squared. So, ngayon, gusto mong ihiwalay yung 13.57 sa A. Pero magkasama sila sa isang grupo. Ang gagawin mo kapag ganun, divide mo lang. Kung ano yung gusto mong tanggalin, do mo siya i-divide. For this case, 13.57. Cancel this. A. So, 110 divide 13.57. 
8.11. 8.11 meter per second squared, which is the rightful um, unit for acceleration. So, this is your answer. Okay, next sample problem. Also, the last one. Ang isang bike ay pinandar ng mula sa pagkahinto hanggang marating nito ang speed na 7.10 meter per second. Narating ng rider nito ang distansya na 35.4 meters. Alamin ang acceleration ng bike. Okay, visualize. That's always the first one. Kasi ang hirap na mag-solve, no? Kung hindi mo naintindihan yung problem. A, B. So, sa A, nakahinto. Sinabi na naman. So, automatic yan. B sub I ay 0. Pero hindi laging 0 ang B sub I, no? Pag nakahinto lang. Tulad ka rin sa sample problem number 1, hindi siya 0. Hanggang daw makarating ito sa speed na, hanggang maabot itong speed na 7.10. So, ibig sabihin yun yung final, kasi yung naabot niya ng dulo. 7.10 meter per second. Ang distansya daw ito ay 35.4 meters. Again, you are looking for the acceleration. That's the required so, A, question mark. Again, let's rewrite the kinematic equations. Vf equals Vi A times Ti. D equals Vi times T with plus one half ATN square. Vf square square equals vi square plus 2a and b to add d equals vi plus vf divided by 2 all of this sorry multiplied by time okay tingnan natin kung alin pwede natin magamit vi is given also vf is given Displacement is given as well. Okay, we're looking for acceleration. So definitely not this. Walang acceleration dito. Ito may acceleration siya, no? Pero wala kang time. Also this one, wala kang given a time. So you're going to use KE number 3. Okay, very good. So KE 3 will be going to use. Or will be used. Vf squared equals Vi squared plus 2A and D. So your Vf is this one, 7.10 meter per second. Inside the parentheses, squared equals Vi is 0 squared plus 2 times A. You're looking for A times the displacement, which is 35.4 meters. Okay, so 7.10 squared is 50.41. 50.41, you also have to square the units. 0 squared is of course still 0. So dito sa loob, meron kang 2, meron kang A, meron kang 35.4. Pwede mo muna pagsamahin yung 2 times 35.4. So 35.4 times 2 is 70.8 so a times 70.8 meters so again kapag ganyan a yung gusto mong mahala pero may kasama siya ang iba <laughs> so paghiwalay mo sila sa pumagitan ng pagdivide sa kanila cancel out this one kung anong nilagay mo dito kung anong dinivide mo dito sa side na to Ganon din dito sa kabila. Para maging equal pa rin. So, 50.41 divided by 70.8. 0. 0.71. Okay. You have to cancel out one of the m's. One of the meters. So, meter per second squared. Which is the correct unit for acceleration. This is your answer. Okay. Can you solve these two problems? Good luck.